Hello, I'm Judith Lacey. I'm the head of uh, supportive care and integrative oncology at Chris O'Brien Lifehouse Comprehensive Cancer Centre, which is a large comprehensive cancer centre in New South Wales, Australia. I'm a medical specialist in supportive care and integrative oncology. And I'm also the national chair of the integrative oncology group for the Clinical Oncology Society of Australia. I'm the co-chair of the clinical practice group for the Society of Integrative Oncology. I'm the Australian Ambassador for SIO and more recently I have been elected as a new member to the board of SIO. I work in a hospital and I work in a hospital that uh, prides itself on having actually the largest research department in medical oncology and clinical oncology in, in our state and one of the largest in Australia. Research is essential to um, moving the entire field of caring for cancer patients forward. If we're suggesting acupuncture, for example, for chemo-induced peripheral neuropathy, we actually need to show that we are identifying that the level of evidence is moderate and we need to bring it to a high level of evidence in order to actually integrate it into cancer care. So embedding research into clinical care is really, I think, essential. Essential to moving the field forward because the vision is that I get that complementary therapies and integrative medicine becomes an integral part of comprehensive cancer care. And the only way to do that is through, through research. For me, SIO was, the, was really the home and it was the place and it was the peak body that enabled me to move this field forward. And it enabled me to move this field forward confidently and uh, learn from my colleagues, partner with my colleagues, and, and know that it was a safe place to develop that integration of evidence-informed, evidence-based, complementary therapies and lifestyle change into comprehensive cancer care. And so that became my mission. SIO is an is a organisation of trailblazers. It was started um, by somebody who believed that you need an organisation such as this to bring evidence-based care into clinical practice. This is a unique group of people um, who really are not doing it for themselves, they're doing it to change the way we deliver care and care for the whole person living with cancer. It's about patient-centred care, it's about bringing, expanding our toolbox so that we can really address the essence of what it means for a person living with and beyond cancer to not just live well but also thrive. And it's the tools that we have available through integrative medicine that enables us to really move this forward. So, SIO is my, almost my spiritual home, but also my academic home. And I think that, you know, it's 20 years, 19 years now that SIO has been around and I've only been a member for, for less than a decade, but I feel that um, this really, SIO really embodies what it means to care for the whole person with cancer. Integrative oncology is the best medicine I've ever practiced. <laughs>